Hi guys, I'm Kartikesh. In this video, we are going to make this cool Bluetooth control robot using Arduino. So let's go and let's get it. For this project, we need some basic components like Arduino you all know. And then we need Bluetooth module. The model of this module is HC05 Bluetooth module. Then we need a driver. Not a driver, it's a motor driver which is used to control the direction and the speed of the motor for this project we are going to control the direction of the motor next we need wheels which is one two three and four we need four wheels and then four motors the name of the motor is bevo motor this is we need four then we need a arduino yono cable to program the arduino board so using this cable then we need a battery adapter so this is the adapter sorry battery holder so i'm going to use this project next we need some bunch of jumper cables for making a robot we need a base so i'm choosing this cardboard which is used in photo frames so i use this cardboard you can use foam board or any other cardboards first i need to fix the audio no on the motor driver to the cardboard so i am making a hole to fix Arduino and then motor driver after the markings we need to make a hole to fix Arduino and the motor driver so with the use of drilling machine i just make the hole so you can see here with the help of screws and some nuts i'm going to fix the the same arduino on the motor driver After fixing the boards, we need to turn the car board so that we can fix the motors in the respective places. You can see here the two motors on one side and the two motors on the other side. After fixing the motors, we need to make solder the wires to the motors. So here it goes. I am taking the bunch of wires. Already cut those wires according to the length. So you can see here and I already soldered it. We need to connect those two motors parallel in the motor driver M1 and then two other two motors parallel to the motor driver M2. After that I am going to make a hole to connect the wires, motor wires to the motor driver. Here you can see I am just mentioning the positive or negative terminal of the motor by the color. You can see here the red and yellow represent the positive terminal of the motor and the black and green represent the negative terminal of the motor. Then we need to connect the positive terminal and the negative terminal. You can see here I am going to connect the positive terminal which is yellow and red and then we are going to connect the black and the green which is negative terminal. So you can see. The positive terminals are joining together and the negative terminals are joining together. After joining the wires, we need to connect the two wires to the motor driver. So you can unscrew it and then insert the wire then screw it on the both sides of the motor drivers.
for this robot i'm going to use uh, this AA battery holders or you can use just of the lithium batteries which is 3.7 volt you can use the digital batteries for now i'm going to use the AA batteries holder okay here it is and then we need to give the power supply connections so with the help of wires the i'm indicating the blue as positive terminal and the black as negative terminal first we need to connect the positive negative terminal to the motor driver and then we need to split it off and to connect the terminals to the battery and to the Arduino Uno. In motor driver you can see that there are three pins which is first the left side pin is 12 volt pin and then ground pin which is followed by a 5 volt pin. We are going to connect the wire to the 12 volt pin and then ground pin. So I am going to unscrew it and then insert the wire and then just screw it. Before connecting the power connections to the Arduino, you need to know that you can give the power supply to the Arduino by two ways. Whether you can use the power jack or you can use the VIN pin. Here I am going to use the power jack. So I have the male power jack cable connector. So with the help of this, I am going to connect the positive terminals of the Arduino and then motor driver and the battery. Here I am joining it and then I am going to connect the negative terminal of Arduino to the negative terminal of motor driver and to the negative terminal of the power sorry battery holder. And then with the use of male to female jumper cables I am going to connect the motor driver and to the Arduino. So here you can see I am going to use male to female jumper cable. In the motor driver you can see that there are 6 pins which is for the first left side pin is enable A which is used to control the speed of the motor and the right most pin is enable B which is used to, connect, used to control the speed of M2 motors. We are not going to use those speed controls in this robot. I am going to just connect the INT1, INT2, INT3 and then INT4 to the Arduino UNO. With the use of male to female jumper wires, we are going to connect the Bluetooth module to the Arduino Uno. So you can see here there are 6 pins in Bluetooth module, but we are going to use only the 4 pins. They are TX, RX, BCC and the ground. The TX represents the transmitter of the Bluetooth and the receiver of the Bluetooth is represented as RX. And then VCC represents the positive terminal of the Bluetooth and then GND represents the negative terminal of the Bluetooth. Before uploading the code, you no need to connect the TX and RX of the Bluetooth to the Arduino. First, we need to connect the 5V and then ground pin alone. Because while uploading, it shows the error while we connect the TX and RX pin to the Arduino. And then with the use of Arduino cable, we are going to program the Arduino Uno. Later I will explain the code explanation video, you can check it out. Finally we are here, our robot is ready to race. You can see the changes in my robot, I just changed the battery holder to the lithium battery holder, it will give more power and more efficiency. The program and the circuit diagram links are in description, you can check it out. After power on the robot, the Bluetooth module is ready to pair. So take your mobile and then you need to turn on the Bluetooth. So here it is, I am going to turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, just turn it on and then search for available devices. You can see the name is HC05 of this Bluetooth module. So just click it and then it asks for the pin. You just don't need to afraid of that. Just type 1234 or 0000 and give OK. Okay, here it is. 
the rc05 bluetooth module is paired next we need to download the app to control the robot to download this app i just put the link in the description you can check it and download it just open the app and then we need to pair again so you can see the red indication which is the robot is not paired with this app so after go to settings you can see there the forward back left right which is indicated as f b l r we will see this is in our coding video sorry code explanation video just go to settings and connect to car you can click rc05 and then the robot is paired with our mobile phone you can see there is a green indication so here it is the robot is ready to race The main feature of this app you can control the robot with the gesture. So we, here you can see go to settings and then change to accelerometer control to gesture control. So here you can control the robot with the gesture of our mobile phone. If you like and enjoy this video, just like, share and subscribe to Kardikesh Robotics.